Hey guys, uh, Mike here, the modern polymath. I've, uh, I've been thinking, talking for years about starting a YouTube channel. Um, at one point in time, I was gonna call it things of interest because my interests are just all over the place. Um, but now I've decided to call it the modern polymath, which we'll get into that later. But in the interim, um, I decided just to start it with a toolbox tour. Um, I have a lot of toolboxes. This is not one of them, although that's a nice one. And uh, some more nice ones back here. Boop. Um, this is not my nice one. My nice one's at home. This is actually my work toolbox. I'm up here at a, we'll call it an undisclosed location. Uh, it's where I worked previously. It's my father's automotive shop. So obviously lots of tools here, but I am going to show you my work toolbox right there. So this toolbox I used while I was the manager of this uh, rather large Napa Auto Care. And the reason I believe that it's a valuable box for others to learn about is kind of twofold. Um, one is that this box uh, is great for if you are in a shop, but you don't have a space or a bay like I did. So you have very limited space. Um, and then also this is great if you're just not a full mechanic. So someone like me who is a manager, or if you are getting into the industry and you're coming in as like a lube tech, this would pretty much cover all of your lube tech needs. This guy right there. And then lastly, the other reason that it's a great box um, and is how I use it now is for small engine repair. So this would also be just a great box to use for small engine repair. Okay, let's take a look at the top. As you can see, I have this Carlisle light, which is rechargeable and has, you can't probably tell on camera, but it does have two modes and it's magnetic. I absolutely love that thing. I have one for my home toolbox now too. So I was just gonna show that. It's of course powered by this power strip that I got from Harbor Freight. And then up here, I kind of keep some of my basics. Um, these are quarter inch shallow impacts in standard and metric. Um, you've got all your kind of your go-to um, quarter inch and three eighths um, drive stuff. And I think I said those are quarter inch, but those are actually three eighths. Uh, different little wobbles and different sockets and such. Um, repping a few of my homies, especially Flyway Master, who inspired me to do this video. I need more stickers for my work box. Napa. They don't have more parts, but you know, is what it is. Um, and then from Duluth Trading, I have this little pin guy, which I really love. Um, down here, I have just kind of some Torx and Hex stuff in 3 8 um, Over here, I have a standard set, shallow, deep, 3 8 and quarter inch drive sockets. Uh, I think Husky brand, um, pretty much because there's a Home Depot down the street, so I can replace them easily all the time. Um, and I don't really buy a tool truck. Um, some Harbor Freight whatever those are called, I can't remember right now, but you know, converters essentially, size converters. Um, got some things like some long screwdrivers down the sides. Over here, I keep flashlights, um, magnets, extra knives. Oh, right here, I keep my, probably my main oil change ratchet. It's a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh 3H flex uh, head, not locking. Um, this is obviously like the cheapest version of this kind of ratchet, but it works great for the money. I really love it. Um, I also have this little 38 wobble head ratchet. I think it's an Evercraft. Yeah, Evercraft, which is Napa, I believe. I um, don't even know why I got it, um, but it's a great little ratchet too. Got some quarter inch long extensions right there. And yeah. So that 
pretty much covers the outside. Uh, you've got the Harbor Freight yellow drop down side thing. You've got the Harbor Freight um, shaker cans, Harbor Freight um, towels. Um, and then I think this came from Harbor Freight too. There's like a little tool sort of organizer that I use. Um, and I've got like my basically tire tools. So, you know, just different tire tools, including a little, um, Wow, I am hot and I can't think clearly right now. But, you know, one of those. And some nice paper, those kind of things. So, backing up here. Um, I sometimes take this or, or intend to take it um, away from the shop for use. That's why it's got the magnetic strips on it. Well, not the magnetic, but the uh, reflective strips. So it'd be easy to be seen. And yeah, um, I am dying from the heat over here. Oh, I should show a couple things real quick. Um, half inch, 10 millimeter ratcheting Huskies. Um, and then also you've got same 10 millimeter, half inch, um, quarter inch drive, long sockets uh, or deep sockets. Um, or 10, meter, 10 millimeter and half. I think I got this better. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter and half. Um, spline drive style. Those are just kind of my go-to's because they're black so they're different than all those so I can quickly um, always find my half inch and my 10 millimeter um, you know stuff top of the box all the time. All right I'm gonna take a quick break because I'm dying from heat and we'll be back. All right so as you can see we don't have a lot of space at the shop so I've got it back here in the corner because I don't work here during the week. So I just get it out during the weekends when I need it. And uh, also I can start out by saying I have no idea what kind of box it is. It was my father's at some point in time and he gave it to me. I believe it's a Napa box of some kind. Um, and then I have since modified it as you can see. All the yellowness came from Harbor Freight. And it really made this box next level. Luckily it had really good casters to begin with. They're old, but they're really high quality. So good casters. And I'll just show this because I'm not gonna show it again. This is just why I keep clean supplies down at the bottom. All right, heat exhaustion avoided and I'm back. One thing I missed up here, flip sockets, half inch right there. Um, I'll also address that I do not have a half inch air impact in here uh, because there are probably 10 of them throughout the shop that I can use. So I don't keep one. All right, top drawers. Uh, basically over here I keep pliers. Um, pretty much some Husky and Harbor Freight. Um, now here's the thing. Uh, like these vice grip knockoffs from Harbor Freight, they're terrible, don't buy them. Uh, the black pliers are cheap, but okay. The small red-handed pliers I think are quite nice for the price. The blue handled, are pretty good. The rain handled for the price, the Doyle, are quite honestly amazing. Um, when I started building this box, Doyle wasn't out yet. They only had the blue line. Um, I would go with the red line now. I don't know if they're necessarily tool track competitors, but they are quite good. And then I have this small channel lock 209 oil filter wrench. This right here, every mechanic needs it. For all those oil filters, canister type, uh, that you can't get out because they're in weird spots, this is my go-to. Um, screwdrivers, mostly nothing special other than, um, uh, let's see, where is it? Get you, there's lots of brands, get you one, this is Titan, so this is uh, Northern Tools, so they're super cheap, but just get you one of these little bit drivers. They are super helpful, especially with like dash work or small engine stuff like covers. Um, and then my main screwdriver set is one of these Carlisle, which is Napa green. I was going to try to make everything green at one point in time. That didn't happen. Uh, screwdriver set. I have the blue version at home. Um, I love the Harbor Freight, some of their screwdrivers too, um, but uh, I really like this Carlisle. So that's what I've got. Uh, over here, bits, a couple panel pop tools, some very small screwdrivers, some very stubby screwdrivers, 
And uh, yeah, so that's the top two drawers. I'm gonna go take another break and I'll be back. All right, next door it is. Um, I don't love that these are sitting right here, but I just don't have space, so that's where they are. They used to be up here on top, and then I didn't have enough room really to walk, so I moved them down here. Uh, these are the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro ratcheting sockets. Um, obviously, they look ridiculous. It's part of why I bought them. No one else in the shop is going to steal these, um, but also they just worked really well. I was going to replace them with something nicer, but I can't justify it because they just keep working. So, um, I've got the Icon pick and scraper set. I haven't used it much, but I do love the scraper. The scraper is probably my favorite part of all this. Um, I've got another Harbor Freight uh, wrench set, obviously just a basic one. Um, I chose this one because of the case it came in. This toolbox is small and I didn't want to spend money if I didn't have to on organization. So this came with a nice organizer and it's compact. Obviously you got your good old pipe wrench or whatever you want to call it. Extra wrenchy, sockety stuff. So um, these are my, uh, or some of my uh, spark plug ratchets. Um, you've got this guy, which I got from Harbor Freight. Three eighths on one side, half a quarter inch, or sorry, eighth inch, quarter inch, yeah, quarter inch on the other. Uh, flex head on both sides, reversible. Um, I think it's a really cool tool. I just never use it. So, uh, let's see here. For nut drivers, um, I have this Quinn, which is again Harbor Freight set. I like these because they're really lightweight and they do convert into T handles too. Um, I think if I used them a lot, they probably wouldn't stand up over time, but I don't use them a lot. So. Digital, um, you know, temperature gauge, use that a lot. Uh, some electrical meters, headlights, that kind of stuff. So, basically, wrenches and overflow socket drawer. That's what I keep in there. All right, last drawer. Pretty simple, you got your hammers. Um, I have this Bauer uh, bit driver drill. It's my main one up here. Um, I really don't care for it. I don't care for the battle line in general. The blue line there at Harbor Freight is awesome. Um, I have the Queen torque wrench. Torque, no, it's not a wrench. Torquey thing, uh, which I use for when I need to torque. Uh, those are some chisels, battery charger. I'll get back to that in a second. This model from Harbor Freight is my new favorite air tool. Of course, you can adjust the length and the tips and all that. I have some extra tips right there uh, just love that thing uh, let's see got a breaker bar down in there smaller air guy some shallow one inch these are my go-to uh, deep one inch or oh, sorry half inch sockets um, those are my go-to's for when I need to take off uh, if I don't go with the flip sockets and um, so for taking off tires and then like uh, blades on lawnmowers things like that and then this Carlisle Bills Dit Set, it's way too expensive, so I got it on a really good sale. Um, I love the bit set. I just think that if you pay for it normally, it's either around or over $100, and that is ridiculous. Um, but also all the competitors are the same price. But they had it on sale, and I got one, and uh, I really like it. So yeah, that's the bottom door. So that's my box. I guess I should also say I have a matching little chair here that I uh, use. It's got the little drawers in it. It's the Napa one, um, Call Isle, I think. Maybe not, maybe just Napa. But for a chair, it's pretty darn nice for the price. When you work on small engines, you definitely want to have one of these. All right, so this is how I leave it for the weekend, or for the week I should say, when I'm not here. Sometimes I put that side yellow table down, sometimes I don't. So, oop, kinda loud. So, as you can see, 
Um, I don't keep a whole lot up here. I just keep basically what I need. And uh, I think this would be a great setup for somebody that works at a shop that doesn't have a bay um, or like a service tech who's just starting out. Um, because I already have tons of expensive, great tools at home, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. That's why it's a lot of Harbor Freight and uh, Carlisle because this is a Napa Auto Care Center, so I get a discount on the Carlisle tools. And I gotta say, uh, the Carlisle tools are pretty good for the price. And Harbor Freight is if you pick the right tools. Um, they have some stuff that's trash, and they have some stuff that is amazing for the price. And they have a couple items I think that are better than like the Snap On version. So I said it. Um, you just gotta be smart and buy smart. Uh, and I'm gonna try to share some of that knowledge here on this channel. So a little bit of background, uh, this is my father's shop. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bay shop, uh, which is pretty decently sized. I managed it for a couple of years. Um, so I'm pretty knowledgeable about the automotive industry, but uh, like everything, I'm not like everything. I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm just pretty knowledgeable. So you'll find out that's why I call myself the modern polymath and this channel, the modern polymath. That might change, but hopefully not.